Hello, this is all the insane markers and how to find them. It's in alphabetical order, so we're starting with the atmosphere marker. So you need to get up to the cloud by jumping on the chimney. Go to the corner that faces towards the map and jump down to the cloud below. Down further, you can see a cloud with a white light on it. That's where we need to get to. It's a switch and it will transport you back to the first cloud. Now there will be some small clouds and some balloons. Go and get a balloon. The balloon will carry you up and a ring will appear. You need to stay in the ring and avoid the clouds because they will burst the balloon. When you get over the marker, it will automatically drop you. This is my alt account and a different avatar because I had to redo this marker due to losing the recording. So now I will go back to my proper avatar. Next up is the balloon marker. Climb across the trees and then step on the rocks. When you drop be sure to land on the cloud with the marker. This is the chicken marker if you haven't got it yet. If you look carefully you can make out an obby. Jump across this and get transported to a room. Several times when I did this and stepped on the floor, I fell back to the map, so I jumped into the room, which helped. I'm not sure this is required, but it worked. Now the bioluminescent marker, go to the washable kingdom by climbing up the clock tower. Walk over to the bluegrass area. Click on the glowing mushrooms in the exact same order, otherwise it doesn't work. Right, sorry, I was listening to the song I made. Good, isn't it? This is the black hole marker. Get over to Mars and then walk down to these switches. Tread on the orange one to turn the power on. Go inside and look at what you have to do, or I should say, where you have to go. You will need to memorize the directions and how many steps it takes, because to get the marker, you have to do it in the dark and I mean complete darkness. So once you have had a few practices, go back and turn the juice off. Then I can only wish you good luck. You're on your own from here, kiddo.
I will cut this bit short because the blank screen is very boring. For the bubble bath marker, go in the house to the right, behind the clock tower. Pick up the wrench. Go to the back of the factory and turn on the power. Then activate the pump under the waterfall. While you are in there, fix the leaking pipe. Now fix the pipe in the spawn area. Now jump in the water and fix the pipe in the sewer. There are two more pipes between the houses to fix. Do the right one and then the left one. Then go up to the bathroom and get the marker. The burning marker is a quickie. We like quickies. Go in the cave and click on these three thingy watsits. Kaboom! For the Chomic marker, you need to find it in the list. Click the icon and then click on the bottom left image to go to the game. It's a fairly easy obby if you take your time. Make sure you get the key first, otherwise you will look a bit stupid when you get to the end.
The cobweb marker involves a huge mechanical spider. Go into each house and under the stairs. Get rid of the cobwebs. Do all six houses and you will hear the party blower. Then go outside and jump down the hole that has appeared. You need to get to the other end of the tunnel, but without getting touched. The couch marker involves a bit of ingenuity. To get it, you have to have five people sitting on the couches. I use the chat to entice four victims, I mean players, to appear in my video. Plus, it means you all get the marker, so just ask who wants the couch marker. Big thanks to these four players. I'm sorry I didn't get all your names, but thanks to Robloxman and Pikachu Gamer Man. The next two are quickies. I do like a quickie. The first one is the Devil Marker. Get on top of the rocks and then jump down to the small ledge and work your way round to the other side. For the error marker, go to the left house behind the clock tower and walk over to the computer. Keep clicking on the keyboard and then jump onto it.
Go to the Washable Kingdom and over to the Bluegrass area. Climb up and go through the secret door. All you have to do is get 18 arrows in the spinning wheel. Make sure the new arrows don't hit the other arrows or it will restart. Here's another one from the Washable Kingdom, the Gilded Marker. For the glitch marker you need to climb round the mountain. You will see a slightly darker door shaped area. When you click on it, it briefly shows you where to go. It is best to change your movement mode to click to move. This way you can click in the area you think the path is. And it will only work when you click on the path. Once you reach the end, you will have a lovely obby to get over. Watch it for a little while and get the timing right. This is the code for the gummy marker. Blue, yellow, red, green. Find the four switches in the right order.
For inverted marker, we need to go to Mars. Go over to the far side and jump off at the arrow. I'm just changing avatars. If you go straight to the marker, nothing works. So first you have to click on this switch. Then go back and the inverted marker will be there. The jawbreaker is a different challenge but just as annoying. First you need to get on top of the giant white lollipop. Nope. Just remember to keep calm and persevere. Give the ball a little nudge, then jump on and get it to roll down the white path. Don't let it touch the red, and make sure you yourself don't touch the path. Stand on the side of the ball that you want to go, but don't fall off, and keep walking. Good luck. Please bear in mind, I edit out all the failures, and just show you the way to do it. It usually takes a long time to get it right. Don't ever give up.
OK, this one was a total watsit. I don't know how many attempts I made to get this, but here's the magma marker. Go to the washable kingdom and go up the volcano. When you get to the big skeleton, turn right. This was my fourth session trying to get this, and it took 30 minutes non-stop trying to finally get it. The Moulding Marker. I will show you where it is, but I can't show the end scene because I already got it and lost the recording. Jump down from the cloud, on the corner where the marker is. The Moulding Marker is under the little cloud, so do a bendy jump and you're there. Medium stone grey marker next and it's a tricky obby. We love an obby don't we guys? You have to jump down onto this small platform it's not directly below you, Ed, so you have to guide yourself onto it. The Mimic Marker is in the Washable Kingdom, so go up the Clock Tower. Head on up the volcano and go inside. Then you need to climb up this wall and find the small tunnel.
Open the chest on the far right. The pebble marker is an easy one. Jump down this hole next to the desert area. Make sure you press yourself against the wall because halfway down is a door that you will slip into. For the plasma marker, go to Mars. Slip between the steps and enter a secret door. Then take your time to get through the lasers. There are two markers beginning with Q. This one is the quartz marker. Go in the cave and find the pickaxe. Then you have to arrange the mirrors like this. Aim the centre mirror at green. green to red. Red to orange. Orange to purple. Purple to yellow. Yellow to blue. And then blue back to the white centre.
The next one beginning with Q is the quicksand marker. This one is fairly tricky and will take a few goes. Go to the desert and into the pyramid. Get through the gap and slide through the secret gap. You will slowly sink so you need to avoid the red areas until you reach the bottom. Oh crap, I got that wrong. Try again. The skinny marker is very easy. Just go round the side of this hill and find the secret entrance. For the stardust marker you need to get the wrench from this house. Then go to Mars. and into the building. Open the vent and get to the end. The stormy marker is next. Get on the house and the chimney. Not sure why this ladder bit is so hard sometimes. You can always go through the fireplace inside to get up on the roof. Jump up to the cloud. Jump off the edge and back onto the ladder. It's a tricky jump, so good luck. Then two more nasty jumps and you are there.
Now things are getting more interesting. Get to Mars. And then to the Moon. For the sus marker. When you land on Mars, go to the far side and jump off at the arrow. When you land this time, look for the Earth and Moon and click on that. Now look for the highest rock and get to the top of it. Remember, you are on the moon and the gravity is less, so you can jump higher. Some of these jumps look impossible, but they are quite easy. Just get your aim right. For example, look at this one. There is no way you could make that in any Roblox game under normal gameplay. OK, let's give it a go. Or not. Yeah, I need to stop doing that extra jump at the end. For the teapot marker, go to the mountain and climb up to the cave. Go to the giant keyboard and type in uh, something. What was it? Oh, yeah, Mr. Marker Maker. I tell you what, obviously, I don't figure all these things out myself. Sometimes I have to look them up to help the video along, but it makes me wonder how on earth do people figure out some of these puzzles? It defies belief. Anyway, enough chit chat. This one is time based. No, really. When the red hand gets to the 12 position, a portal opens for just a short while. Quickly go through and Bob's your uncle. When the photobomber gets out the way, you can carry on recording the video. I'm going to try my best to explain this one. When you click on the buttons, the whole map rotates and you hang in the air for a short time, then drop down to another platform. Keep going through the way it takes you. When you 
get to here, position yourself to the right, and when you drop, make yourself fall to the right as well. Then this time move yourself through the wall to the other side. Now the tricky bit. When you drop, you need to land on that platform where the marker is. Aim up and to the right. Stand over as far as you can, towards the platform. This is the last one, and it's called Vitellary Marker, whatever that means. Well, according to the dictionary, it's a place within an egg, where the yolk is formed. I'm educating you as well now. It's the same as the previous marker, just slightly different. When you get to this bit, just walk along and jump down on the left to the platform. I already had this one, so no fancy ending. Sometimes I have to use other videos to point me in the right direction and give me a clue where to find the marker. I try to use smaller channels rather than the larger well-known ones. So a big thank you to the names on screen for helping me get all these insane markers and an extra big thanks to all you viewers for watching this video. See ya!